What's up guys, Pastor Yong here back for another video and of course last video I talked about iOS 14.6 the official version on the iPhone 12 Pro Max now we're going to talk about iOS, uh, iPad OS 14.6 on the iPad Pro 10.5 inch which is the one that I own right now and of course Apple actually released M1 iPad Pro but for me I feel this is actually enough for me it to last long I only change iPads when this thing is outdated Only I only change the iPad so let's talk about iPadOS 14.6 on this iPad Air Pro right, right now. And of course, iPad Ads always get a few like minor updates on the iPad OS 14.6 compared to iPadOS 14 uh, other iPad uh, like iOS. Because Apple will actually focus on iOS for the new features. And if it's on iPad, mostly it's doing WDC when Apple actually impressed us on the iPad OS, iPad 15 or 13 in last year. Uh, that's why I is a new feature us about it. So let's go talk about iPad OS 14.6 right now. So this official, it's not the RC, it's not the Goldmaster, it's not the developer or beta update. This is actually the official version of 14.6. Okay, we're gonna talk about iPadOS 14.6, what's new about it. So if we go over to settings or update, you see this prompt. iPadOS 14.6 includes support for Apple Card Family and Podcast subscription, also with the bug features on your iPad. So these actually all the updates on iPadOS. So before all get we go to settings. So actually before I start this video, this iPad actually has 14 iPadOS 14.7, which is beta 1. And actually Apple released the official update on the iPad, but because I actually snapped 14.6 on the software, so you guys can know what's about it. So now we got Apple Card family. Yeah, so what it means is, is that if you have an Apple Card, uh, uh, you can subscribe for your children, which actually require 13 years old and above. So you can share the Apple, uh, they have their own Apple Card uh, to use it, it to make purchases. So all that uh, the parents also can keep track uh, on the Apple Card as well. The next one is podcast subscription. In my region, it doesn't support it, so I can't and actually replicate this thing. But I actually have a subscription on the podcast, so it's good. So Apple actually introduced some new services for people to use it. it and it's great it, to Apple actually do it for us. And also accessibility, voice control user can unlock the iPad first time after we start using only their voice. What it means is that if those people who are disabled, they can make the hair move. The good thing is that they have the voice control or to tell the iPad to unlock of the iPad without using their hands to unlock. So I think it would be very cool that it's very cool for those people uh, to use it and it's very great it to use this kind of feature. Now lastly also fixes is Bluetooth can sometimes disconnect as always you go to settings and you go to Bluetooth sometimes Bluetooth will disconnect by itself. Uh, okay, net S1 is reminder uh, may appear uh, as blank light. So if you go to, to reminders and when you turn it on, allow while using continue. When you put S as the let editor, let's say I write apple.com. Um, usually when you finish each the reminder app, as you see, do you see, you won't see any blank lines because it's fixed on the iPad at OS. 14.7 and also 14.6 and yeah that's about all on iPad OS 14.6 on the iPad because on iOS 14.6 it has more features compared to the iPad OS Apple most focuses on the software on the iOS instead of iPad OS as since in the iPad OS has a different feature compared to the iPhone iPads more on to the laptop or the iPhones more on more on the user base daily usage. So that's about it. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, turn on the notification bell, and of course I'll see you in the next video.